Would you look at that cutie? Look at that cutie. <laughs> babe just got off work. Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> We're about to take our pre workout Devastate into these roasting water shaker bottles and gonna go hit up the gym. Making sure I have everything in my bag, sleeves, belt in the trunk, shaker bottle, towels, good to go. Yes. It's right here, babe. Got to Barbell Brigade. Alright guys, so originally I wasn't planning on making a commentary for this video, but once again, I have a lot to say, so I'm just going to cram it into this video and use this opportunity. So to start off, it's been a very long time since I've been to Barbo Brigade. I haven't been here since the beginning of last year, and it just feels so great to be back. So when putting on the knee sleeves, I put my compression pants right against my heel. Yeah, it doesn't slide up when I slide the sleeves on. Look who's showing up. This is my boy Wayne. Wayne, introduce yeah, yourself. Are you famous? Yeah, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> introduce yourself, Wayne. I'm Wayne. Follow me at Bruce Wayne. I N N. And on Instagram. Uh, I don't even say. <laughs> all right. So we're all about to squat right now. Jillian and I decided to squat and deadlift at Barber Brigade. It was kind of last minute, but on that note, I wanted to share with you guys that when you guys are on a training program or just working out, it's nice to just have some spontaneous sessions every now and then just to change it up. You want to keep your workouts fun. You want to keep your training fun because if not, you're not going to be encouraged to do it. There's going to be times where you'll dread it. And so spice it up every now and then guys whether it's adjusting sets adjusting reps coming to the gym when it's not planned try to make it fun and now to discuss with you guys what I actually wanted to talk about first off I regret calling this season summer shredding because I feel like I'm giving you guys the wrong idea of what I'm actually trying to do I'm not cutting down for a physique show. I'm not cutting down for a bodybuilding show. I'm simply cutting down just because I was carrying excess fat and I wanted to become more agile and become leaner. I'm not planning on going all the way to like a two to three or four percent body fat, guys. My goal was to hit about 140 pound body weight. And right now I'm about 142 to 141. So I'm pretty close. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But that's that guys, my goal for summer shredding, simply 140 pounds, I'm satisfied with that being my walking weight and just maintain and slowly rebulk from there. All right, with that said, I will no longer be calling this summer shredding because I don't want you guys to get the wrong perception of this. So I apologize guys for not making my goals clear from the beginning. Um, that is something I got to work on with YouTube. I was reviewing through my old videos and realized that, man, I haven't given you guys what my goals were. Like, it wasn't clear. So my goals, my exact goals for fitness right now, one, I want to get leaner, cut off all the excess fat, and two, reverse diet, go into a lean bulk, slowly put on some muscle, spend the next year, two years putting on muscle, invest in my youth while I can to put on and maximize as much size as I can before cutting 
And as I bulk, and I'm at, and as I'm at a surplus, I plan on picking up a lot of powerlifting meets because my strength is going to be a lot stronger. I was planning on doing one this October, but I won't be optimal, so that's going to hold off for now. That was 150. This is Jillian's last set of squats at 160 pounds. It's been a while since she's moved this weight, but she moved it pretty well considering she hasn't been touching the heavy weights in a while. She's been more focused on lighter weight with higher reps. Just finished up some squats. Now I'm gonna play with deadlifts. It's been a while since I've deadlifted, so we're gonna see how this goes today. Man, it has been a while since I've pulled deadlifts. So coming back to the deadlift with the Texas deadlift bar, it was, I felt very foreign to the movement. I haven't had practice, my technique felt slightly off, and so I'm considering starting to re-add deadlifts into my programming again. And it was fun deadlifting this day. I was only planning on going up to about 405 pounds. My meet back in March, my max was at 451.9. And so if I can even get close to that, I'll be happy. Warm-ups today felt pretty good. It was moving up fast and it wasn't too difficult considering it's been a while, but overall it was a good time deadlifting and this is my, me, this is me, sorry guys, stuttering. This is me pulling 405 pounds. See the struggle? The second rep was not happening. That was freaking sad. Strength is just right now. <laughs> Here's Jillian pulling deadlift. This is her final set, just repping the bar out, having fun, looking like a total badass. So that concludes our session for the day. Just kind of winged the session. There was no regimen, there was no program behind this. It was just for fun. Just wanted to move some weight today. How was your session, babe? That was good. Our first time at Barbell Brigade, guys. Good time? Yeah, it was really good. And now we're gonna go get some grub. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.